Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you're doing well. Well, here I am outside enjoying the beautiful spring weather and I absolutely love it. It is a bit chilly. I have a jacket on, but as long as there's sunshine, I don't mind. And can you believe how beautiful these cherry blossom trees are? These are actually my neighbors. I'm looking over my fence. Let me go this way and I'll show you. I think they have about four or five of them. But anyway, guys, look at these. Look at these beautiful trees. They're absolutely stunning, aren't they? I love cherry blossom trees. Boy, have I had a rough couple of weeks. I have been through so much, it's unbelievable. It's actually been a rough three months because our dishwasher blew up in December and caused major damage on the wooden floor in the kitchen. Uh, but anyway, the insurance company picked up the costs of refinishing the entire level, so I'm very happy about that. But that also meant that we had to move out, move the furniture out, and stay in a hotel for about a week. But anyway, we're back home now. Uh, the furniture's not in yet, it'll come in tomorrow. But the floors look absolutely gorgeous, guys. I'm so happy with the floors. They did such an amazing job. And part of me doesn't want to move the furniture back in because the floors look spectacular. But at least we're able to use the kitchen and sleep in our own beds. We did stay at a beautiful hotel suite, which was lovely actually. It was very big. It had a full kitchen and two bedrooms and a living room. It took the kitty cats a little while to adjust, but after about a day, they were fine. But anyway, guys, that's the reason why I have been absent. I haven't been publishing as many videos and I haven't even had time to respond to the comments. So I apologize about that. But hopefully I'll be back in the swing of things soon. Uh, the furniture comes in tomorrow, like I said, and then uh, I'm going to try to straighten out my studio because it's an absolute mess. They did have to do some work down there as well because the water dripped down to the ceiling. So they had to remove a portion of the ceiling and paint the entire ceiling. So it was a bit of a mess. But on the positive side, I think it's gonna look lovely once everything's done and all the furniture's in place. I am gonna make a couple of changes to my decor. I'm getting a big screen TV and a new light fixture. And of course, this is the perfect opportunity for spring cleaning, which I've already started. But anyway, guys, that's enough about me. I'm so glad you're here because we're gonna be making that beautiful owl pendant necklace that you saw in the intro. And we're gonna be using the beads that came in the curated bee box for the month of March. And it's actually the second box. They sent out two boxes in March. I did call them to figure out why and they said it was kind of complicated so they didn't want to get into it but anyway we did get two boxes for March and the name of this box is Dusk in the Woods. Now we'll warn you in order for me to use that beautiful owl pendant I had to dig into some past boxes and I'll go into that later on in the video and if you don't subscribe to that box I'll leave some information down below in the description section of this video as well as a list of all the materials I'm going to be using today and as always I'll leave some timestamps in case you want to skip forward to any portion of the video and don't forget that I always model my pieces at the end of the videos so stick around for that so without any further ado let's go ahead and get started and here we have curated bee box for the month of March 2024 I did do an unboxing video and if you haven't seen it I'll link it down below in the description section and as you can see, the name of this box is Dusk in the Woods. It had a variety of colors and beads, but when I saw the owl pendants, I just couldn't resist them. Now I did receive two pendants. I don't know if that was an error or they included two in every box. In any case, I absolutely love these pendants. So we're gonna be using one of them today. And let me show you what else we're gonna be using. These are the items I'm gonna be using from the box. I have a lovely strand of six millimeter jade style glass beads and the color is fern. And here's my pretty owl pendant. It measures 34 by 26 millimeters. And here I have some spacer beads. They're flower spacer beads. And they measure six millimeters across. Now this pendant has a lot of other different colors. So that inspired me to make a very colorful necklace. And in order to do that, I had to go into previous boxes to find beads of different colors. So let me show you what I found. And by the way, I am gonna use the Finding Starter Kit. Each box comes with one of these. And it contains all kinds of things like head pins, jump rings, lobster clasps, beading wire. But today we're only gonna be using the jump rings and a lobster clasp. But anyway, let me show you the other beads. Can you believe all these colors? I absolutely love looking at so many colors like this. But anyway, I found these beads in this box here. The name of the box is Let's Party and it came out in September of 2022. And these are all six millimeter size beads. Now the colors don't match the pendant exactly, but like I said, I want my necklace to be very colorful. So I think they'll look just fine. Now I did want some red beads and this box didn't have red beads so I had to go into a different box and I found these and these came in this box. The name of this box is Berries and Cherries and this one actually came out in September of 21. So anyway guys I think all of these beads are going to look really nice in today's necklace. 
In addition to these beads and the pendant and the spacer beads that I showed you, we're going to be using some wire. And this is 20 gauge wire. And the name of this wire is titanium. It's like a silver color. So now that we've gone over the materials, let's go ahead and get started. Here are all the beads I'm going to be using for my necklace. I have a total of eight colors here. And guys, you can use whatever colors you want. And even though the colors may not be in your pendant, I think it's still going to look nice. The whole idea is to have multiple colors. And by the way, all of these are crackle beads except for the green ones and the red ones. Those are the Jade Star glass beads. Now, the reason I'm using spacer beads is because the pendant has a lot of metal and I felt like I needed some metal up in the strands. So that's my reasoning behind that decision. But anyway, let me show you what I had in mind. Let me put this off to the side and let me move these up a little bit. I was thinking about starting with a spacer bead. So this will be by the pendant and then three glass beads. maybe a blue one but it really doesn't matter like I said I don't think you can go wrong and then another spacer bead and then three colorful beads maybe a pink one this time and then another spacer bead and that's basically it I'm just gonna arrange the beads like this until I get the length that I want it's actually very simple so if you're a beginner you're gonna love this video so let's go ahead and get started I've cut myself a long piece of wire this is my 20 gauge wire and today we're going to be making some simple loops. So I'm going to go ahead and kink my wire about, I would say, three eighths of an inch down, maybe a little bit less. Kink it like this and then using some round nose pliers, I'm going to grab the end, making sure that it's flush because that's how you get nice round loops. And now I'm simply going to loop it. You want to make sure you close your loop and you want to make sure that it's centered. So there's my loop. And now let me go ahead and load this spacer bead. Like that. Now these beads are very small, so I'm not going to try to line up my loops just now. I'm just going to hold the bead the best way I can. And I'm going to go ahead and kink it. And now using my flush cutters, I'm going to go ahead and snip off the excess wire. Using my round nose pliers, I'm going to grab the end, making sure it's flush, and create a loop. Just like that. Now I do want to line up my loops, so I'm going to grab this one with some pliers. And with another set of pliers, I'm going to grab the other one and line them up like this. So there's my first beta component. And now let me create the next one. Once again, I'm going to grab the wire like this, kink it, use my round nose pliers, make sure it's flush, create a loop, Load the next bead, like that. Grab my wire again, kink it, snip off the excess. Grab the end with my round nose pliers. Make sure it's flush and create a loop. And now I'm going to line up my loops. Let me open up this one. Slide this component into it. Like that. Close my loop. And now we have two beta components connected. It's very repetitive. Whoops, don't you love it when that happens? Luckily, I didn't drop any beads on the floor. So let me do another one with you. Once again, I'm gonna grab the wire with my pliers, bend it, grab the end, create a loop, slide on the next bead. I think I'll use a green one this time. 
like that. Grab the wire again, bend it, snip off the excess, grab the end, create a loop, Let me line up my loops now. Open it up. Slide this component into it. And close it up. So now I have three. By the way, these pliers are by Beat Smith and they're called tapered flat nose pliers because the tips are small, as you can see. I like to use these when I close small loops because it's much easier. And these are regular flat nose pliers. These are by Lindstrom. I love these. As you can see, I've used them quite a bit. But anyway, guys, this is how I'm gonna build both strands. And I think I want my necklace to be about 18 inches long. Obviously, you can make yours as long as you want to. And like I said, I'm gonna have three colored beads and then a spacer bead and another three colored beads of your choice. It really doesn't matter. And then another spacer bead. And it's the same thing over and over. So let me go ahead and do the rest off camera and then I'll come back and attach the pendant and the clasp. So I'll see you in a few moments. As you can see, I've completed both strands and each one measures nine inches approximately. Now in order for me to achieve the length that I wanted, I had to add some spacer beads at the top by the clasp because I couldn't continue the same three bead pattern without it getting too long. So that's a little trick you can use to get the desired length. But anyway, guys, as you can see, I linked the colors very randomly. I didn't follow any kind of pattern at all, and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So now we just need to attach the pendant and the clasp. Now the loop on the out pendant is pretty big, so I'm just going to connect the strands directly to it since I'm using 20 gauge wire. If I had to use something thicker like 18 gauge, I would have probably had to add a couple of jump rings to the pendant. But anyway, this is super easy. Let me go ahead and show you. I'm just gonna go ahead and open up this loop. Slide the pendant into it, like this. And close up the loop. And now let me open up this loop. and slide it onto the loop of the pendant. And now let me go ahead and close it up. So now my pendant's attached. Here's a lobster clasp and a couple of jump rings. These are from the Finding Starter Kit. The jump rings measure six millimeters. Let me open it up. Now there is a front and a back to this necklace. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach the clasp on the right side since I'm right-handed. And you wanna make sure you close your jump rings really well. Let me open up this one now. And attach it to this strand. And close it up. So this necklace is done. And there's my colorful owl pendant necklace. I think it's super cute and very cheerful looking. And of course, if you wanted to make the same thing in one color, that would be nice as well. And as always, I'd like to go ahead and put it on and show you what it looks like. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.